Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh this afternoon says he's done with excuses and second chances when it comes to Skyline Apartments, where a 93-year-old was killed last week. He says residents are forced to live in unfit conditions and in fear. So the city is using everything it can now to hold the owners, Tim and Troy Green, accountable. News Channel 9's Josh Martin with the very latest, joining us live in Syracuse, right in front of Syracuse City Hall. And what's the plan there, Josh? Jeff and Christy, the city of Syracuse is taking legal action against Skyline Apartments and its ownership, Green National, which we know is owned by Syracuse legend Tim Green and his son, Troy. This is a nuisance abatement. It's going to be filed tomorrow. And what it means is the city of Syracuse can now leverage Skyline Apartments to make changes in the next 30 days. If they don't make changes at that apartment complex, consequences are coming. There could be rent withheld, public funding withheld, and of course, fines if they don't get on board with what the city wants them to do. Listed in this document are things that must be done within 30 days. Some of those items include securing all doors with a lock and key access system supported by an alarm system, employing full-time security employees at the front desk and around the building 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and refusing entrance into that building to people who don't live there and who are not guests of someone who lives at Skyline Apartments. The track record of, of, the, of, of the owners is abysmal. And um, the, the actions that we're taking have very specific time frames associated with them. Um, so there will be no wiggle room. Uh, there will be no, again, second chances. Um, the, the time for action is now. And there will be, a, a, um, a, through each of the processes that I, that I outlined, uh, there's accountability in there. And so if they don't act, uh, they will be held fully accountable. Mayor Walsh and other members of city government took a tour of Skyline Apartments last Friday and they said, frankly, it was disgusting. They said the common areas throughout that building filled with feces and needles, inhumane conditions that people are living with there. The first step for Skyline Apartments will be cleaning that building up and making it livable for those who still want to live there. Live in Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.